I survived 200 days in Hardcore Dawncraft. Dawncraft is a huge new mod pack that turns Minecraft into a massive RPG game. There are more than 43 new bosses, a full custom quest line, and a lot of new structures to explore. In the first 100 days, we successfully defeated all seven eye holders, including the fire giant, which completed our main quest line. In these next 100 days, we have to collect the final four unique eyes of Ender in order to progress into the end. Along the way, I adventure through a lot of new structures and face some very powerful bosses. And by the way, the Ender Dragon is not the final boss in this mod pack. That is all I'm gonna say. Anyways, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 200 days in Hardcore Dawncraft. Okay, so back from where we left off. We just defeated that battle tower, which is good for us. Now, since the last episode, a whole quest tree has been added. This gives us a bunch of information about the pack. Okay, now from where we left off, I believe we had seven of the total 12 eyes we need. Eight, okay, we have eight out of the 12 eyes. So in that case, I need four more. And I know for a fact I haven't gotten one from the desert or snow biomes. So I think that's the next place I can get them. Additionally, I know that two of the eyes are craftable, including the wind eye and the undead eye let us search for desert and snow biomes and hopefully we can find some of the eyes in those what is up there is that the skeleton lord or is that something else whoa 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 what is that now, unfortunately my takeoff can only get me so far but there is water coming down here which is uh, perfect oh my goodness what do we got going on oh i cannot see i think i just saw a spawner possibly oh Yep, that's a rat spawner. Cloud storage. Interesting. Okay, let me break that. Oh my goodness, they're poisonous. Hello. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I don't like that at all. Get away from me. You little creatures. Ow! Oh my god! These rats are on steroids, man. That thing just RKO'd me out of nowhere. I hate rats. I hate them. You know, I was trying to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I hate you guys. You guys are terrible. I hate you all. Die. Oh, this is a good place to get a bunch of essences. Oh, what is that? That's like a frosty ghoul. Oh, there's a boss here, isn't there? There's definitely a boss here. I don't know how to summon it. Oh, what is that? Oh, I think that's the... Is that the boss? Did the boss just spawn? Okay, I mean, I have golden apples as a food source, and I don't want to have to leave yet. So let's see if this guy is an actual boss. Magis Speller. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's sucking me in. He's sucking me in. Ow. Wait, do I have ender pearls? No, I don't. Oh, boy. Okay, when he does that, I think we have to get behind the tower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's healing. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, this guy's insane. Oh yeah, oh boy, he's summoning Vexus. No, sir, we don't like that. No, sir, no, 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 get those away from me. No, I don't know what they're like, little astronaut thing. He's like, what is that? Oh my God, I don't like that sound. Stop it, I'm eating a golden apple. It's literally my food source. These are like mini totems on dying. That's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's healing, where is he? Where is he, he's healing. And where did this guy go? What? Did he go down? Hello? Oh my god. Not with the rats, man. Why? Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this? I'm just bowing him down. This guy has a huge forehead. This is like Mega Mind. Oh my god, it's Mega Mind. I just realized. I got him. Holy moly. Holy moly. That was that was quite the experience. Totem of banishment. What is this for? Ah, okay, so apparently what this totem does is it banishes nearby vexes. So that might be useful when we have to hunt down evokers. In fact, it'll be very useful. That item comes very in handy later on indeed. I continued onwards and needed food, but before I could collect some, I ran into this house. It seemed to be an interesting steampunk themed house and I took some time to loot the crates on the inside. While I was here, the house ended up starting to burn because there was a pool of lava nearby, so uh, yeah, sorry to whoever's house that was. I thought I had explored everything, but uh, soon I found a secret underground compartment. Oh, there's an underground part here. Whoa, look at this. It's a hidden little underground section. Huh, would you look at that? 
is a book. Bamboo spikes. Notes, bamboo makes an excellent spike. It impaled right through my wooden test dummy. Oh, ooh, it goes down lower. Hello, whoa. Oh, oh my God. This place is booby trapped. Okay, wait, I have to time it. Oh, break, break. I can't get hit here, right? Oh my goodness, okay, we're good. I don't have a totem of undying either. Oh, look at those things. Ah, <laughs> this place is scaring me. Okay, there's a ladder there. Okay, we have to jump to that ladder in time. Okay. No, no, no. Ow, okay, go, go. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oh my goodness, guys, <laughs> guys. Oh, there's a monster box. There's two monster boxes. I don't, those are not good. So if you get blown into them, you're gonna spawn a bunch of monsters. I think that's what we have to try to avoid, but how do you avoid that? And where should I try to go? Do I have to get over there? I think so. Guys, I was simply trying to look for food. Oh my goodness. Why does this happen to me every time? The layer down here seems kind of safe. Oh my goodness. Let me rephrase. The area seems as safe as it can be, but it is definitely not safe at all because we got cave spiders trying to poison me. I think I'm supposed to try to get up up over there. Oh boy. Okay. We made it over. Is there any better loot or something around here? Um, hello. There's spawners over here. Break these. Break that. Oh, uh, here's a book. Rocky Rollers. The shaking effects of the Rocky Roller creature is incredible. Maybe you could achieve something similar by crafting their scales. Are you telling me there's like a boss here? Oh, there's a monster box over there. See, that's not good. We're just gonna sneak around like so. Look at that. That does not look good. That does not look good. Oh, oh. Um, I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. I've tricked the system here. Potion of invisibility. I feel like I should use that. Um. Okay, there's a bunch of spikes. Oof. Okay, we're good. Mechanical drills and spikes. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a new place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's the rocky roller thing right there. We need to get over there. Is that where we need to go? There's some kind of titanium plating. This thing's dying to the poison bamboo spikes. First, I think I can go here. Go here, break the spawner. Good. I think we need to go there, but it's blowing against us. Oof. Oh, item vault. Wait, I actually made it. Hold on. Item vault? Hand crank. Let's crank it. Nothing's happening yet. Oh, okay. You have to shift right click it. That's what it is. There we go. We have opened up the vault. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, a bunch of ores. Crushed iron ore. There is a lot of loot here. A bunch of mechanical things. A book. Let's see what that said. Rods of fire. Blaze rod experiment. After thoroughly testing the rods of fire, I discovered they make great lighting sources. You can place them down with proper equipment and they look great. Oh, I guess that's interesting to know. What does this say? Well done. So you've made it into the Tinker's Vault, huh? Well done. You've outdone my glorious traps, bebobs, and bim boops. <laughs> you deserve what's coming your way. That message seemed a bit sketchy. Like, you deserve what's coming your way. You know what I mean? I feel like like, like this room's about to start closing down on me or something. Uh, we got some blocks of iron and zinc and other things. So I'll grab that. Ooh, and a little diamond block. That's nice. Uh, rose quartz. Oh, another diamond block in there. Okay, that seems to be it though. It seems like we have looted the entire vault. Now, the thing is, there's no way out, it seems, which is a bit, uh, it's a little bit discouraging actually. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, pfft. Okay, I activated the monster spawner. Oh, 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 okay, 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 wow. Okay, how do we get out of here though? I don't know where, where the way out is, so I'm just gonna mine out. Ah, okay. Oh, and here's a desert. This is exactly what we wanted. Oh, looks like this is a pillager campsite. Hello there, folks. Bow them all down from here. Slowly infiltrate this place. And let us see. Oh, okay. Got him. They don't seem to be doing that much damage. Oh, this guy's enchanted. So we are not going to attack him in melee range. That's for sure. That's for sure. See, when they're enchanted like that, you don't want to mess with them, I'm telling you. 
Do we have anything in here? No. Okay, so let us get out of here. Oh, and there's another pillager castle over there, which would actually be perfect for us to loot because I have no totems of undying and having some will come very much in handy. Look at that. We have a new entrance, ha hand crank. Oh, looks like the inside of this castle is pretty much the same as the last one we were at. We are just here for totems of undying, so we can kind of speed past most of everything. Ah, evoker. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta be careful. And oh boy. Golden apple. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I need to equip that totem of banishment. That's gonna help me with vexes. Vexes? Let's see if the totem of banishment works. Oh yeah. All of them are gone. Kill all of his vexes. Got him. Oh, okay. I have two totems of undying now. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. There you are. And there's another one over here. Got him. And if I can get to him, thank you. And these are some of the best chests you can get. They're just full of loot. Look at that. Okay, we can head up. Oh boy. Let me banish all of those vexes. And you're going down. Yeah, you're gone. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Okay, banish all the vexes. Come here. I think that's all the evokers. We got a total of seven totems of undying, which is really, really good. Oh, and my helmet is almost broken. Lucky for me, I have my anvil, so I can easily repair it. We really should get to upgrading all of our gear. It is turning out to be really difficult to find a snow or desert biome. Oh, and here's another puzzle room. It looks like we need to unlock that door, but how do we do that? Lever? Oh boy. I think you slowly kind of transfer the waves of redstone by pressing the different levers and such. Oh, I think I did it. There we go, key drop down, orange key. Right click to open an orange lock, boom. Ah, there we go. And we got our two spirit orbs, nice. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, um, what is this? Hello? What is that? Oh, I just right click. Oh, Martian. Look at this guy. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. He teleported onto me. Take that. Oh, he's dropping down. His health's down, but he's not dying. Uh, hello? Sir? There we go. Oh my goodness, that was a pretty cool boss. Gem, the only remain left of the Martian would be difficult to find a weaponsmith that can make use of this foreign material. Whoa, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, I did not expect to run into that at all. Nothing like that. Something up in the sky over there. What is up there? Look at that. I would like to check that out. Oh, that's a dragon. It is hard to hit this guy. This is a much more advantageous position here. I don't even know if my arrows are hitting this guy. What is it doing? Oh! Oh! This whale almost just killed me. It just got me to half a heart. I didn't even mean to... Okay, I didn't even mean to shoot the whale. Now I'm gonna have to kill the whale. Everything's going wrong, huh? This dragon's just drowning. Oh! Taking a lot of shots at it. Oh my god! Okay, well, apparently that's a thing. There's another totem of undying. Did I get it? Oh, finally. That was quite the experience, gotta tell y'all. Now, I did update the game. Let's see if the guildmaster has any new thoughts since the update. Follow your calling. The unattended eyes. So seven eyes that are unattended by eye holders. The ones that can be found in structures include the curse of the old, and the other ones can be crafted with the life forces in a realm. However, I do know that clerics are currently in possession of the evil eye. Whoa. Okay, wait, so that gives us a good amount of information about where the eyes are. Alrighty, well, let's continue along. Here's a snowy biome. Maybe we can have some luck with finding something here. There's also a puzzle room, which we can check out. What do we got going on here? Ooh, this is a new one. Looks like we got some parkour over there. A lock over there. And I guess a puzzle. How do I know which buttons to press? Um, maybe we'll find out by doing the parkour. Let's try. Press the button. I don't know what that did. Did that do anything? Huh. Strange. I don't hear or see anything happen when I press this. I might have to take the loss on this one. Because it is pretty confusing. So let us continue along. Look at that. We got some moose. Yeah, no luck. No luck at all. There's a little pillager tower over here, which we can check out. 
Gotcha. Oh, man, this one's getting poisoned somehow. How? Who's doing that? Oh boy, I see who's doing the poisonous stuff. Is it you? It is, isn't it? Yes, plagued. We got him. Anything over here? Some basic loot. Rabbit stew. Anything else here? Some okay loot. I think it's a good time to waystone home. Hello, Noopy. It's <laughs> nice to see you again. Here you go. Here's a piece of steak, Noopy. Okay, well, I guess we should try to do some more villager quests. And hopefully we can find this evil eye that the clerics are supposed to have and the other eyes that they might tell us about as well. This guy wants two melon seeds. I think I actually have melons. Oh, yes, I do. Is this you? Yes, there we go. Four sweet berries as well. Villagers myself can't risk going into the woods to collect these. You hear the villager chuckle as he finishes his sentence. Is he scamming me? The last guy that scammed me, I had a problem with. Okay, you understand? You understand? You live here? This is your windmill? Okay, I'll remember that, okay? What's your name again? Cindy. Okay, Cindy. Oh, look at these hyenas. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so sweet berries. Maybe we can find some in this forest here. There's source berries, but we don't need those. I feel like there should be some in this forest by him. It's got snow too. Hello. Look at this cat. Oh my goodness. I wish I could tame it or something. That's pretty cool. This is a really cool cat. Interesting little place here. There's a villager here. Interesting. Are these fellas trapped or what's going on? Who is this pillager? Did he just kill a villager or what do we do? Who did he just kill? They're safe now. There's something up here in the sky. What do we got going on here? I feel like it's just like literally rocks without anything on them, but I'm going to check them out anyways. There better be something up here. I mean, this is this is taking a lot of work. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Wheat. Oh my goodness. This thing's trying to blow me off. Hey, stop that. Sky of annoying. Yes, I agree. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is like a trap. Everything's trying to kill me. Go away. Cloud block. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing else here other than clouds trying to kill me. I do see this shipwreck, which actually uh, looks very interesting. <laughs> and it also has some swordfish floating around, which cannot be friendly. No way they're friendly. I can't hear anything underwater. Oh my goodness, I cannot hit it. Okay, outside of combat mode, I can hit it. This is very weird. Fish bones. What else do we have here? Ow, I'm drowning. This is interesting. Anything here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I'm nauseous. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That, that is not good for me. Look at this nausea effect. There's a book here. Bubbles. And a wheel. Can I spin this wheel? No, I can't. That's too bad. There's a cannon here, which is really cool. Whoa, schematic cannon? Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm already drowning. The pirate war. Okay, okay. Oh, golden apple crate. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, no. I got greedy. Oh, no. Okay, golden apple. We're gonna need to get that golden apple crate. Oh my goodness. Go away. Go away. Guys, go away. Why are you doing this? That's mean. You shouldn't do this. Iron forged skellawag skull. Ooh, look at that. I got a new sword. Okay, let's get that golden apple crate. There it is. Got it. And we're good. All right, I'm out of there. Golden apple crate. Boom, nine golden apples. Not bad. Bubbles. Today we found a wild axolotl. We decided to name it Bubbles after much deliberation amongst the crew. Pirate War. Today, Captain Crazen took us to Skull Island to officially declare war on the monster known as Captain Mayo. They hope their captain can defeat them. Oh, and they lost the pirate war. That's unfortunate. Okay, that was a sad story. And to think I started this whole trip for sweet berries. It did not work out well at all. Danny wants help with something. What do you want help with? Uh, you want spruce logs for? Sure, no problem, Danny. I gotcha. In fact, there's spruce trees right here. Hey, Danny. Here you go. Oh, he gave me an emerald. That's nice of you, Danny. Oh, and you want 15 emeralds for me to learn how to use a fletching table. Okay, okay. Boom. Thank you very much. <gasps> Sweet berries. Found them, finally. Okay, so that quest is done. Ooh, look at these towers. Holy moly. <laughs> I think we saw these on literally day one of our adventures in Dawncraft, but I was not prepared at all to enter them. Oh, hello. Look at this guy. We're gonna take you out. Definitely curious as to what is inside of these towers. Ah, okay. I've been to a structure like this in my past adventures. Let's see if we can find anything good here. A lot of iron. And I do plan on returning to all of the other structures that we found along our adventures. Oh my goodness, that is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Oh, these guys are a bit dangerous. 
Oh, okay. That's not good. Diamonds. Ooh, enchanted golden apple. Okay, that's pretty good. Try to break this spawner before anything spawns again. Thank you. A map. That's very weird. Just says number 94. Okay, it looks like it leads you to a combat area, but it's pretty close, so we should check out where that goes. Okay, let's follow this weird, weird map. Frozen Peaks biome. Maybe we can find some snowy structures here. Here's another one of the massive dungeons. Instead of going through the whole thing again, I'm gonna go just all the way to the top and hopefully get some of the loot that's up here. Let's hope that this glide can get us in there, and it can. Let me make sure to break these spawners if I can really quickly. Boom. What do we got in here? Pretty good stuff. <laughs> a lot of enchanted bottles and diamonds. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not a bad little, little loot rummage. Okay, it seems like there might be a dungeon down here. We might have a long way to go down. We're in a mountain biome, so we're only at Y level 90. Stone free. Find a mining system. Oh, what is going on here? There's a skeleton. Hello. There are a lot of spawners here. There we go. I think the best thing to do is going to be to clear out all the spawners, and then we can come back and see what's in the crates. These guys aren't hitting too hard, though, which is good. Ooh, and I'm getting a bit low. <laughs> okay, we've kind of cleared out a line. Oh, 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 okay. But let's see what's in these crates. Some iron ingots, more iron potatoes. Uh, there's some kind of a new music disc, so I'll take that. But other than some iron and baked potatoes, I'm not finding much else. Oh my god! And more. Like the spawner. Okay. <gasps> oh! Wow. Oh, look, it's a baby creeper. I think we should just continue along with getting some quests done. And we've made it to the surface. Okay, I've finally found out where we can get the remaining four eyes. One we can get from the boss Frost Maw, another from another Bastion, another from a Cleric, and another from getting a Witch Eye. So, let us get to work. First, let's return home. And hello, Noopy. Here's the trading contract for the Cleric Guild. So, if we head into a village now, and we find a Cleric... Finally, hello! Oh, hey, yes, I can trade with him. Okay, emerald for redstone. Let's trade with him for a bit. Get his trade to upgrade. We'll slowly buy one at a time. There we go. That's an upgrade. Let's see what we get. So there we have some more stuff. Okay, let's buy some lapis from him. And still not what we need, unfortunately. Okay, ender pearls. There we go. What else are you going to give us here? Ethan. Oh, this is another one. He has a quest. Extermination contracts. New type of evil manifesting. These half man, half beasts are called silver beasts. You can find them wandering around at night. Hey, who was I just trading with? Hey, come back. Master. Oh, there we go. Evil eye. Let's go. Finally, I see another eye. We need a rabbit's foot for it. Oh, no. Okay, I hope that I have a rabbit's foot. And it doesn't seem like I have any rabbit's feet. Well, that means that I'm going to need to hunt a rabbit, unfortunately. All those rabbits that I spared, I'm kind of regretting it now because, uh, well, now I need to spend a good amount of time searching for rabbits. Oh, rabbit. So it would be good if we can defeat it with my looting axe. And definitely not in F5 mode. Oh. Oh. Rabbit hide. No rabbit's foot, though. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, rabbits. Where are you? There you are. Who wants a hug? Dang it. No rabbit's foot. Oh, I got a lucky rabbit's foot. But this isn't a regular rabbit's foot. I'm definitely not enjoying this hunting spree. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's a lucky rabbit's foot too. Hey, will you take a lucky rabbit's foot? Oh, no, you won't, will you? Oh, well, my goodness. Having trouble finding rabbits the second time around. So I spent a whole day of looking around the same area that I found a few rabbits in before, and I have not found anything. Oh, a rabbit. Come on. Hyper rabbit foot, guys? I just want a normal rabbit foot. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm not sure if I'm just defeating the wrong rabbits or what. Whoa, look at that. Found a uh, snowy village, I guess. Hello. Is there anybody inside here? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop just searching for rabbits because that's not going anywhere. So instead, I'm gonna start looking through these buildings. And I remember that the fisherman's cabin did in fact have rabbit's feet. Ooh, private. Hello. Oh, hi. Jack the Cold. It's a boss? Hey, man. Jack the Cold won't be messing with us anymore. That's all I'm gonna say. 
Oh, e worth the cold. Oh, I'm blocking his shots too. Oh, look at that. Nice try. Woo. Interesting. What an interesting little town. Oh, hi, folks. So there are some normal villagers here. Hello, guys. Let's check out what's in this huge structure. Seeing brewing stand. What do we got up here? Whoa, big library. And it looks like a bunch of either amber or honey blocks up there. And let's take the opportunity of being in a snowy biome to look for a frost maw. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at this. <gasps> look at this. They're all gathered around. It's like a Viking villager statue. Oh, it's an orc or an ogre. Take this fella out. Got him. Ogre's liver. The remains of an ogre. Huh, what is this? Wisteria. Oh, Wisteria Nivis. Even in the midst of an icy wasteland, a wonderful life can appear, can be placed. Well, I'll grab a couple of those just because they seem to be a rather unique type of tree. And we got a maze here. I'm wondering if there are any rabbit's feet in these chests. Ooh, pirate pouch. Forgotten pirate clothes that smell like rotten oysters? Oh, Boots of the Twilight Grotto. I see a pirate ship over there. Check it out. I wonder if this is one of the typical pirate ships or if it's any different. Take him out. Get ya. Anything in here? Some diamonds. Barrels. Nothing special either. Here's another pirate ship. This one seems to be a little bit different. How to take these fellas out. And what do we got? Another pirate pouch. Let me see if there's anything down in here. Oh, I see a Vindicator. You gotta be careful. Fighting the, these guys in melee range. Oh, that leads to that. You're getting one shot. Treasure pouch. What did I get? Leggings of the Dead Sea. Interesting. Spine fishes. Nothing else here. Got some locked up villagers, it looks like. And more loot in here. Not bad. A little loot pile. Sea stew. The power of the sea in your stomach. Fury 3 strength. Oh, what is that? Intricate dagger of greed, sea wolf weapon, special properties, theft, attack villagers and pillagers, drop emeralds. Huh. Okay, well, let's keep that. Now let's let these fellas out. Oh, and apparently I've started a raid. I'll let you out as well. And you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is a bad situation. Hey, man. So I'm just gonna shoot you. Shellhorn. Ca someone's Captain. Cornelia can be used near water in an ice maze. Whoa, it's a boss. Okay, let's loot some more of this pirate pouch. Oh boy. Okay. And what have we got in here? A bunch of emeralds. Oh, and look at this. A bunch of special books. And look at that mob enchant book. You can make a mob enchant with an infinite duration. And that's interesting. I wonder if I can enchant Noopy with this. That'd be nice. Oh, here's a fella. You can try the dagger on him. Oh. Every time I attack, he drops an emerald. Oh, you just use this to quickly get an emerald and then you stop attacking. Interesting. Very cool. What an interesting weapon then. Wow. Now I think it's time to fight uh, this captain. And let's summon Captain Cornelia. Uh, I think this should work. Oh, yeah. It used the item. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's pulling a polar bear. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening right now? I'm using my enchanted golden apple. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not, I, what? I can't even shoot at it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This boss is insane. Oh my God. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not fighting this boss. There's no way. There is no way I can defeat Captain Cornelia right now. <laughs> Get me out of here. Holy moly. No, I'm not ready at all. I'm gonna set a waystone here. Captain Cornelia. And maybe when we get some way stronger gear, we can return. But not, not now. Wow, that was crazy. Can I put this mob enchant book on Noopy? Wait, it, Noopy's enchanted now. Oh, look at Noopy. Noopy's powerful now. I hope, I hope it worked. I don't know. Here you go, Noopy. My, <laughs> Noopy's enchanted now. Oh, I just want to get this rabbit's foot and then we'll, we'll worry about other things. That boss fight has shook me up a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. I just want to find a rabbit. Oh, that's a big rabbit. Rabbit's foot. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, look, 
There's a bunch of big rabbits here. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me that these guys are the ones that dropped the rabbit's foot. Oh my goodness. That is so unfortunate. It took me just until now to find the rabbit's foot. Okay, I'm happy that I did though. So we need to go back to that village and trade with you, sir. Here we go. And here we go. Boom. Evil eye. Nice. We have done it. Now that we have gotten this eye, the evil eye, we have multiple options of which eye we want to get next. I think trying to get Frostmaw's eye is the next best eye to look for because along the way, if we can find witches, we can get the witch eye as well. And I'm going to need to repair our gear. We can teleport back to Captain Cornelia, and I'm not going to actually approach it, but we can look for Frostmaw. Whoa, look at this. That looks crazy. What's over here? Interesting. Loot barrels. Let me glide down here real quickly. Let's see if there's anything here at all. It doesn't doesn't seem like there is. I'm gonna let uh, let go of this dream of finding the frost moth for a bit, and I have a new plan. But we can only actually do that plan once we find a waystone back home. Penguins. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah. Look at him. They're having a real good time. Oh, waystone. Nice. Okay, we can return home. Castle. Perfect. Okay, here's the thing. I want to get full netherite gear. So that is what we are going to do. These two epic pieces of diamond armor are easily going to be upgradable and worth it. However, these two are quite basic. I'm just going to have to do with what I've got. And I don't need much more than that, really. I also have my charm of fire resistance, which will help me out. And it's time to get to work. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mine downwards to Y level 15. And let us get to work. <laughs> and there we go, already a piece of ancient debris. It's, uh, it's been barely any time. That, my friends, is a good, good sign. And there's another pocket of ancient debris. It's a good thing that I have an anvil and diamonds. Boom. And another one. That's our fifth vein, I believe. We are at 17 ancient debris, so we already have enough to make a full set of gear. And I think 19 is a good amount of ancient debris to leave it off at. I would like to quickly head upwards. Ooh, look at how fast we can break blocks. How insane is that? And we're already out. Oop, hi. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck. What? What? What is that? That's crazy. That's insane. Take that. Just die, man. Wow. Oh, it's one of these fellas. Is that what was damaging me? Was it you? Boom four netherite ingots okay and now we can combine this onto our gear and i believe we might be able to switch the appearance of netherite armor ah look at this wheat to make it a straw hat black banner to make it a hunter hat interesting whoa there's a lot of different looks you can pick let's try this banished night scarf let's see what our helmet can look like there we go Ooh. okay interesting <laughs> a bit strange but Maybe better than the typical. Let's see what we can do with the rest of the armor pieces here. Ooh, that is looking nice. Woo. Uh, now if I want to transform this. Boom. 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 That's the full set. And you know what? I'm digging it. So now we have a full set of this bandaged knight armor, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And with that, I feel a lot more powerful for sure. Protection 3. Okay. In addition to that, we also have a bunch of enchanted books. Let's get Protection 3 on those boots and also put Feather Falling 4 on them. Now, I think with this gear, what we can do is head into the nether and try to find the second eye that comes from there. I believe this one is called the Cursed Eye. Yes, this is the one. The Bastions are very, very, very dangerous, so we're going to have to approach this carefully. Here, we got a Bastion, and I'm going to be very careful with these fellas. Hello. Yep, okay. What do we got going on here? A few things. A pretty decent iron sword, it looks like. Let's check that out in a moment here. Let's see how we do in melee. Not very well, as we can see. I will shoot you from here. Soul speed. Ooh, an epic pickaxe. This looks pretty good, actually. Better than our normal pickaxe. There's another chest. Nothing. And take you out, sir. Oh, you as well. Both of you. 
and we are going to roll right on out. Yes, we are, because we are taking way too much damage. Head away. You too. Got him. And nothing in here, it looks like. Take you out. Ooh, that was a bit close. And we're going to get you as well. And you, that's right. Thank you. Nothing here. Another chest. And nope, no luck. Oh boy. Let's continue onwards. The great thing about exploring in the nether right now is that uh, this is a good way of getting experience, extra loot, both of which will help us in fighting the frost maw when we come across it. Oh boy. What, what is that? What's doing that? What is doing this? There's like some kind of a storm in the nether, I guess. It's a bit, uh, a bit worrying, to be honest. Here is another bastion. Oh boy, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, ancient debris. I almost missed that from this chest. Okay, I haven't found anything here, and I think we should move on. Look at these upside down trees. Inverted forest. That's very cool. <laughs> Here's another bastion. Hey guys, don't mind me. Oh, you are definitely minding me, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is very difficult. I need to find a way not to take so much damage. That would be truly fantastic. Or I could just find the eye, which would also be amazing. Fella, you guys better back off. Maybe we can get some luck in the middle chest. Oh! We actually did get luck. Cursed eye. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Let's go. And I'll pick up these diamond leggings just because you never know when you need some more diamond gear. Yes, that's amazing news. Okay, that means that we are done in the nether for now. Not permanently because uh, in the future there will definitely be some more stuff we can do here, including some new bosses. And back home we go. So that's 10 of the eyes. Now we need the eye from the frost maw and either an undead or witch eye. And I think the witch eye might be easier to get. So it's time to go on a search for frost maw. I'll just teleport out randomly. It doesn't matter too much where we go. It's time to go adventuring. What can I say? And it looks like I found another woodland mansion on my journeys here, which I will gladly check out. What, I'm down to three totems I'm undying? Not that good, not that good, especially with some of the stronger bosses in this mod pack. Oh, and we already have a evoker. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, alrighty. We're gonna have to avoid attacks. Okay, good. Careful. Get this fella here. Come here. Banish all the vexes, and you guys are done without them. Oh, and my helmet is almost broken. Looks like we've gotten a decent amount of the evokers inside of there, so that's nice. I'll stack up those new totems of undying, and let's continue along. Oh, here's another one of the skeleton statues. These, these things are insane. Look at that. Now, I don't believe there's actually anything up on top of these. Hmm, just a bunch of little hole sections here. Well, let's see if I can find anything on the inside. Mm, nope, just a bunch of calcite it looks like, so very cool statue, but uh, we shall move on. And what do we got in this little house right here? Oh, well, we have a wandering trader on top of it is what we do have, and he has a desert labyrinth map, and actually, I have a compass with me because I looted it somewhere, and I kept it with me just in case I had a chance to get this again, so let's get that. And it seems like it's pretty far, but uh, we have time. We sneak attack on these fellas here. Oh yeah. Boom, special ability. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, my takeoff didn't work. Okay. I find myself in a pretty good spot to shoot at them where it seems like they can't shoot at me at all. Nothing special in here, it seems. Take you all out. And my helmet's close to breaking. I reckon we should head back and it would be a very good idea for me to try to get mending. I need to get a trading contract for librarians. I think for now, I'll just put a temporary helmet on. There we go. I'll just put this on. Let's try to figure out this librarian thing. Hello, this guy wants a bow, ebony. Okay, well, I'll get you a bow. There we go. And you can hunt again. Yes. Oh, and you gave me a rabbit's foot. It would have been nice to have gotten that earlier. Now, I don't know where we can find an, a librarian at. I don't know. I'm not finding any librarians. I feel like we should just keep going with what we're doing. I just want to find Frostma and take him on. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's aggressive. Uh-oh. What do I see in front of me? Oh boy. I'm just 
I'm just getting in trouble, aren't I? There is definitely a boss in here, isn't there? I see something on the floor over there. Oh, and a lot of loot. And what do we have over here? Swamp Jaw. This is what lets you spawn some bosses. And I guess this arena is where it's kind of letting you spawn them. Now, I figure we could actually try to do one of these boss fights here. But I'm also curious as to what is down here. Battle. Oh, it's a battle tower that uh, spawned here. That's funny. Summoning altar. Interesting. So it takes your items. Okay. Let me take this book and let's try to make the nameless king. Let's see. What do we need? Four emeralds. We need two gold ingots, a golden ransor, which will require a few different things. Boom. Leather strip. Pelt. Short sword. And boom. Golden ransor. We also need the goblin crown. There we go. That is all the items we need. And also something I've been thinking of is that we can get more hearts by using our essences and also spirit orbs. We got one extra heart container. I need one more essence for another one. And here I can get two more hearts. Boom. So we're up to six extra permanent hearts, which is uh, that's actually really nice. So let's do this. Put that in, that in, and that in. Oh. Oh, I shift right clicked it and I think it worked. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let's use our potions. That might be the coolest boss we've fought so far. Let me activate everything. Ow. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Oh, is this guy shooting at him with me? Hey, I'm all for it. Let's get some hits on him. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Golden apple. Get some hits. Oh boy. Get some good hits on him. And let's roll away. Woo! Nice. That was a good dodge. Oh my god. What is he doing? Get some hits on him from behind. And roll. Hold an appling. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm trying to roll. Oh. Oh, I should probably roll away from that. I should probably get away from whatever he's doing right now. Oh! Almost got him. Come on. Oh yeah. We got him. Oh, hold on. He dropped a couple of cool items. That was a very, very cool boss. <laughs> wow, we got him. Awesome. Look at this. Glacial Dragon Slayer Spear of the Sun. It attacks very quickly. Ooh, that's it. Its ultimate ability is like a glide. Ooh, look at that. Wait, can we do that into the air? Kind of. Wow, that's really cool. That's a silver beast. This is a good time to test our weapon out. Okay, the damage is okay. Nothing incredible. Let's see what our sword is like. Our sword is actually pretty similar, even though it has sharpness four on it. Okay, now next, let's try to fight Swamp Jaw. Boom, 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 and, and boom. Water bucket. Oh, there we go. The altar hums pleasantly. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, this one's a lot easier. Look at that. Its health is, yep, and it's gone. Well, that was a fast fight. You can make a few things with that. Ooh, including a really nice caged heart item, which I would like to make. Let's craft that. Bam, caged heart reduces damage that exceeds one fourth of max health. And I should just be able to put that on my body slot like so. Let's try summoning some of these other bosses to see what items they give. So we have the bell ringer, which is gonna require four gold ingots, a gold block, and two soul sand. Boom, that's another boss summoned. Bell ringer, there he is. Oh boy. Try to get some swings on at him. Oh boy. Very hard to swing at this guy, but I can actually block some of his attacks with my sword, which is really useful. Oh, jump over that. And, oh, 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 oh. Got him. What did he drop? Banto Plaza. What does this do? Spectre's Grasp. Increases your reach distance. Boom. And Spectre's Grasp. I should be able to just equip that. And also create the Spectre's Eye. Boom. Now there is one more boss that we haven't summoned. And that is Dame Fortuna. And shift right click with the guest here. There we go. That should start this fight. Yeah, there he is. The Dame Fortuna. Woo. Getting some good melee hits on it. It's kind of similar to the bell ringer. Oh, and look at that. My item reveals it, so it's glowing. Let me see if I can block its attacks. Oh, yeah, I can. Turns out that uh, using a melee weapon is actually beneficial because you block a lot of ranged attacks. Like, a lot. Oh, but you should also get away when that happens. 
Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna move. And let's take some shots. Oh boy. Got him. There we go. Fortune's favor. Slicer's dice. Some attacks do more damage. Boom. And we will, oops. We will equip that. Well, I don't know how I just teleported, but I did. Uh, okay. Now I'm kind of stuck here because I have no more levels. I guess so let's just travel in a random direction. And I searched for Frostmaw for a while after that, but three days passed and still no luck. I think our priority should become our gear and finding a way to not have it break. I guess we should try to find a librarian. I looked around a couple different villages to see if I could find any trace of any librarians, but I had no luck up until one villager got converted. Oh, <gasps> he became a village. Oh, and he has a quest. Nice. Okay, so it looks like he's wanting me to go to Everdawn or Everbright. Dusk leaves, maple leaves, and starlight leaves. That's a lot of different leaves, but yes, I can do that. It's time to head into the new dimensions because that is gonna hopefully let us get mending books. Before heading into the new dimensions, I found another pillager castle near me and decided I would head in to get some totems of undying and also get the mending book that was in the uh, hidden little evoker room. And while it was pretty dangerous I got out safely. I put the mending book I got on my chest plate and now I was ready to start making my way into the ever bright and ever dawn dimensions. And I believe the best way to get started is to find a guy called a gatekeeper which I've definitely ran into before but you're gonna need to find him again. I'm, I hope this search doesn't take too long. And the gatekeeper could be in any of these types of houses that we see so we need to check them out. This guy is just a recruit though. Ooh, and here we have a new type of ship that I have not seen before. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's even an evoker here. Hold on. I need to try to take... Ooh. Yeah. There, that's the evoker. I'm gonna have to jump down. Oh my goodness. This, this failed. Oh my goodness. I can't hit him. Oh no. Oh, I cannot go down there. We're gonna have to do it very slowly. Goodbye. Here we do have a spawner. Maybe I can try to take it out real quick. I did, I did. You're enchanted. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, we don't like to see that. Oh, my ultimate just took them all out. Okay, take all you guys out. I'm gonna have to get off for a moment. And my gear is kind of in the process of breaking. I'll probably have to take this helmet off. This could be worth it though, because I know I did see an eye that had some writing about pirates. So it is possible that the ship will have one of the eyes that we need. Oh my goodness, man. This is very frustrating. And here we go. Here is our friend, the evoker. Oh boy. Pick you out. Looks like we're good so far. Oh, a new helmet. That's good. I? Oh, no. But a bunch of iron. One more chance for an eye to be here. No. But the eye that I was thinking of was the black eye. What are you? Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey there. Hey, man. You like, yo, yo, how you, how you doing? Hey, let's get you out of the water there. Oh, you're going right back in. Okay. Are you trying to kill that zombie? Oh, I'll, I'll kill him for you, man. You see the things I do? This is an interesting fella here. Now, I wonder if, if killing him can give us something, to be honest. Um, oh, there's a couple of them. Seems like this is like their little tribal area. I'm very curious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't drop anything. I'll leave you guys alone. You guys are too nice. Oh, man, that's a dragon. Not exactly what I'd like to see right now. So much so that I'm just gonna forget that it exists, you know? Have you guys ever done that? You guys ever seen a dragon and just forgotten it exists? That's what I'm doing right now. Here we got snow, which is a plus, I guess. I ended up running into another pirate ship, which I decided I would scout to see if there was an eye here. But just like with the previous ship, I didn't have any luck, so I moved on. Ooh, wandering trader, hello. He does have a map to a pillager fortress though, which is pretty good because that can give me another mending book. Give him that and that pillager fortress map. I have to go southwest. Oh, we got some movement. Oh, and look at that. Along the way, I'm pretty sure this is a gatekeeper's house, which is quite perfect. Hello. Now he doesn't seem to be interested in me whatsoever. Moonstone shards. What's in here? Barrel, nothing. I don't know. I see there's some action going on over here. And take these fellas out. 
That's for you fellas. Sleep off the night. Hello. Oh, there we go. Now, now he talks. And blue journal. Perfect. Boom, I used it. And check your inventory tab. Ooh, there we go. We have the journal. I didn't realize that the gatekeeper had the portal to the Everdon dimension at his house. Don't worry though, I do figure things out soon. I also somehow started a raid, so I left to continue the search for the Pillager Castle. I made it to the Pillager Castle, uh, but it ended up being one that I had already looted before. So that was kind of a bummer, but at least we did find the gatekeeper while searching for it. I ended up getting confused by the quest tree where I thought that it could create the portals for you. I quickly found out that that was not the case though. And with that, I returned to the gatekeeper's home where I had a realization. Oh, wait, um, th there's a portal right here. I just didn't realize it. <laughs> Boom, see you later. Ooh, Everdawn dimension. Okay, here we are in Everdawn. Tools are less effective in this dimension or they're supposed to be. It looks like my... <laughs> <laughs> Pickaxe is mowing things down. I guess because it has diamond effectiveness against all blocks. Let's collect these leaves. That's the maple leaves done. And this is a very cool looking village. I did not expect to find one here. Are these guys aggressive? Hi. Oh, you guys are friendly, huh? You want pets? Pets? Golden apples? No, they don't want anything from me, I guess. What is that? Is this thing mean? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's mean. I can tell. Go away. Holy moly. It has a lot of health. I guess because my bow isn't as effective here. Hello, guys. Bag of spoils. Ooh, bug guts. Whoa, whoa, why, do, why, why would I want bug guts? Hi. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, guys. Oh, and we got a weird spider coming after me. Let's see how my sentinel sword does. Ooh, pretty well. Okay, now we got one type of leaf. We need more. What is this tree? Dusk. These biomes are very, very beautiful, I have to say. Looks like we got an interesting tower here. The Wizard's Tower. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's definitely a boss in here, but I honestly feel kind of prepared to take on any boss because our Sentinel Sword is still very powerful in this dimension. Let's see what's going on in here. Hi. Got a Pillager. Yeah, we still do pretty decent damage, I'd say. Oh, goodness gracious. We also take a lot of damage, actually. Because our armor isn't as good here. I'm realizing that just now. There's a key. And here are some villagers that we could free. Oh, but I can't even break it. Another key. There's a witch. Maybe this one will give me the... Item that I needed. Nope. Key. That's the third one. It's in the burning sand. Now, I don't know how many keys I need. Oh, you need four keys. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh, and we got some music discs here. Yeah, let's get some Totems of Undying on us here. And we'll have the golden apples ready. Alchemist. Here we go. Here we go, Alchemist. What you got, pal? Oh, okay. He's got some, some stuff going for him, for sure. Oh boy, I don't see anything. Now, it seemed that my Bone Splitter Axe actually does a lot of damage in this dimension still. Possibly even more so than the Sentinel Sword. I think so. Oh boy. Okay, it's pretty difficult to get to this guy, but we're doing okay on health so far. Oh boy. It is hard to get hits on him. Can I shoot arrows at this guy? No, I guess I can't. Oh boy, now I'm on fire. Okay, hold on. Come on. Oh no, dodge that. That's good. Getting a little bit better. Get a few hits on him. Sax is actually coming in handy right now. Come here. This guy is so hard to catch. Okay, a whole lot more things are going on right now. Okay, he's close. Come on. Ah, he's so hard to hit. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, like one more hit. Hey, how does how is he still alive? Come here. Get a few hits. Oh my goodness, this guy is crazy. There we go. We got him. Whew. Alchemist loot bag. Let's open that up. Whoa, hold on. That gave us a few different things. Some music discs. And grants invisibility while sneaking with reduced smoke. Interesting. Dusk arc. Huh. So I guess that gets equipped there. That's a bit strange. So I guess there's less particles, but there's still some. Okay. Iron forged spike shield. That's interesting. I guess it attacks enemies as they attack you. And alchemist trophy. That's nice. Okay. Cool little boss fight. Let's head on out. Hello. <laughs> 
And I think that might be all for the Ever Dawn dimension. I think we need to get the other tree variant in the Ever Bright dimension, but I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get in there. And we're back at the portal. Now, let me talk to this fella. It seems like he doesn't have the materials for the other portal. All right, let's go on a hunt for another gatekeeper building, and hopefully we can find something. Oh, we got a big structure over here. I'm not very gear ready to take on a huge structure like this, but I can try to check it out a little bit. Find the Shiraz Palace. Whoa, very cool. Look at this place. It's a little garden. Let's head down here. Oh, yeah, here we got the mobs. And they are no joke. I am going to place a waystone here. And we shall return later. Morocco the Sun Chief. I don't have very fond memories of you, my friend. Now, for me, this is a bad time to take on this fight, I'd say. I don't have any armor, but I'm apparently taking them out quite quickly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, maybe I'm not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's, uh, we might have to get out of here. Hold on. Let me try to defeat these guys. I'm trying to take all these guys out that are helping him heal real quick. Oh, boy. Okay, he's not doing that much damage. I think I can take him out. Yes. <laughs> I have defeated you. And we got his helmet, which is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting to have this boss fight, but we did. Very nice. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Huge snake, python. Oh, got it. Well, I found a waystone, so I can head home and re-gear myself up because uh, we're not doing too well. Definitely need a new helmet to equip. That'll do the trick for now. And we also need leggings. These should do the trick for now. Boom, perfect. Let's continue with our travels. Oh, it's a witch. Hello. Drop a witch pupil, please. I don't think, I don't think. Oh my God, it's a werewolf. Oh my God. Uh, take that. Oh, did I, did I already get it? Oh, that was fast. We kind of demolished that werewolf if I do say so myself. Oh, look at that thing. I hate those things. You know what? I'm going to have to kill this thing just because of how creepy it is. Why do you exist, fella? Oh my goodness. Go away. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Another gatekeeper. And it's possible that he will have the portal that we need. Hello. Um, nothing really in there. Let's head upwards. Oh, hi. Let's head up here. And there we go. Nice. Okay, that's really great news because uh, we could have just gotten the same portal again, but we did in fact get the ever bright one. So let's head on in and we spawn in a deep peaking ocean apparently. Whoa, this looks cool. Holy moly. This looks very cool. It's insane. Look at those jellyfish. Midnight sand. Look at that. I believe the starlet might be the exact leaves that we need. So that is perfect. I'll set this waystone and name it Ever Bright. And oh, I don't have enough levels to head home. Now these guys look friendly. I don't really want to kill them. Uh, are these guys friendly? If they're friendly, I'm not fighting them. That's my rule. Okay, you're all friendly, huh? What is this? Is this friendly? No, it's not. You are not friendly, are ya? Oh yeah, gotcha. Oh, it summoned something. It's like a little soul. My arrows bounced off it. Oh, there we go. Star flare. Here's another one of these things. Oh, there's a few of these things. Oh, and this one's enchanted. Oh, that's a bit dangerous. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Seems like we found a village. Hello. Interesting looking fella. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this guy. Oh, we got a huge structure here. Where's the entrance to this place? Oh. It looks like I'm not able to progress here yet. Oh, I gotta get out of here. That's not good. I definitely shouldn't go there. And we got a tower over here. I'm guessing this is gonna have a different boss. Let us see what we can do. I like the theme here. I like it a lot. Oh, and this guy's trying to kill the villagers. Oh my God. Holy moly. 
Holy moly, holy moly. My gear isn't even broken. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm not coming here. No, thank you. Yeah, let's head out of here. I have it marked down for later. So with that, we have all of the leaves needed. I then got lost for a day. I couldn't find the village in which I had taken the quest, but eventually I found it. And you still have the quest. Perfect. So he wanted starlet, maple. Oh, I need dusk. Here we go. Dusk. Boom. Quest completed. And there we go. Librarian trade scroll. Thank you. Perfect. We just need to sign this. And there's a lectern right here. Boom. And now, now we have to try to get a mending book, which is, uh, that's a whole process. So ideally, we would like to trap this fellow. Give you a nice little push. Lock you in. Perfect. Perfect. I hadn't actually traded with this librarian at all, but because he gave me a quest, he was now locked into that same trade for some reason. I ended up trading with him all the way until he was a master rank, thinking that I couldn't reset trades and I would just have to deal with luck like that, but um, that didn't work. I tried to trade with a new villager, and this one also ended up having a quest, which messed up with my trading again. Finally, though, with a new villager, I had some luck. Oh, oh, it's working. It worked, it worked. Amazing. What do you got, sharpness three? No. Nice, okay. Okay, let's let's get this done. I need mending real bad, okay? I'm not gonna stop at anything. Returning board? Jimmy? I don't need returning board, okay? Come on, Jimmy. You can do better than that, come on. Stable footing, Jim Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, me and you having a good old time. Isn't this nice? Really is amazing. Glad we can spend time like this, Jimmy. Really glad. You got a nice nose. Yeah, anyways, I'd really appreciate a mending, mending book, Jimmy. Curse of vanishing. Jimmy, Jimmy, what, why? Jimmy, why are you giving me this, Jimmy? Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, there we go. Mending. Woo! Wow, that took a while. Let me lock that in right away, sir. I love this tray, Jimmy. You're doing wonderful. More, yes, Jimmy, yes, 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 more. Jimmy has given me quite a good amount of mending books. I don't think I'll need more mending books for a while. Jimmy, you're the best. Look, I'm just gonna put a port here because I'm too lazy to do anything else. And we're just gonna call this teleport Jimmy. Um, and basically, we're gonna leave him in that hole. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Anyways, I'm very happy with, <laughs> with how many mending books we just got. Okay, we can already put mending on our leggings, which is great. And for the helmet, it looks like we're gonna need to get 33 levels, which is pretty insane. Let's go to the nether to mine for levels real quick. And here we go. Oh, I see a mini boss in the distance. It's a good chance to get some more epic gear. But first, let's clear out whatever these things are. And let's bow this fella down here. He's standing still, which is good for us. How are you in combat? Melee combat. Not too bad. We can try to take this fella out real quick. Roll away. Golden apple real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're getting ganged up on. But we're good to go, and you're gone. Okay. What did he drop? Nothing? Looks like he didn't drop anything. And there we go, 33 levels. And with these levels, I should be able to put mending on our helmet. Now we have a full set of mending netherite gear. That is amazing. Now, the storage situation is not going very well. To fix that, what we can do is use a thing called cloud storage. And I'm gonna need to learn about how to set this up. Now, first of all, we're gonna need a balloon piece and a cloud block, which I believe we might have gotten. Now, the way we can find the pieces we need is by looking up in the sky, I believe. Aha, there we go. <laughs> it hasn't even been a minute. And there is something to do with the cloud storage stuff. So let's try to fly on over there and we make our way up here. Oh, oh boy. Hey, stop blowing on me. Hey, 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 goodness gracious. Okay, cloud blocks. And what, oh, oh boy, what? Oh, cloud chest. Oh, balloons. I believe we will need all of this stuff. Cotton candy, I'll just take that because that's fun. Inside of cloud blocks, those are good. 
Oh, and an elite one spawned. Okay. This is a good time to leave, I think. We got what we needed. Let's make this book. Boom. Let's see how I can create the storage. Essentially, the way that cloud chests work is you send up chests into the sky with a balloon attached and then use the same color on a cloud chest. And that is where the inventory is stored, which you can expand by sending more and more chests into the sky. In order to create a fairly large storage, I needed more balloons, so I decided I would head out in search of them. Here we have another cloud storage. Here we are. Oh boy, another chest. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here. Balloon arrows. Oh boy. And we are getting knocked off. I'm going to take this chance to check out what is on this hot air balloon right here. We got some balloon pieces, it looks like. Let's get on top of here. And it seems like if I just shift, they can't actually knock me off, which is good. And let's see if we can uh, use our looting axe on some of these guys, because that'll give us a lot more balloon pieces. After farming up the cloud mobs for a bit, I had 30 balloon pieces, and I decided that that was good enough to begin our storage, so I headed back home. So let's make these balloons. Boom, seven red ones. Now we can put a red balloon there, then place these regular chests and make them float up. And uh, we'll just wait on those to activate. Oh, there we go, it worked. <laughs> Let me see how much I can already transfer into here. Boom. There's another inventory full, and it just keeps going. Boom, that is really useful. So I'm glad that we have this done. So I guess it's back to searching for frost ma for us, which uh, it hasn't been the best experience, but we already have 10 of our eyes. We need two more, and we are so close to being able to enter into the end. Let's, uh, let's go, I guess. I'm curious how well we can do in this pink mansion with the new gear we have. It is nice knowing that my gear just won't break anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Nope, I'm out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, nope, never mind. Nope, Pink Mansion is a bad idea. Yeah, we're not, not ready for that. Let's just continue along. Let's head into this icy biome and see if we can find anything here. Here we have another pirate ship, which I haven't had any luck with getting an eye from, but I still feel like it's possible. Let's, uh, let's try to sneak on in here and take these fellas out. Oh boy, taking some damage. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Mm, do we have anything? A bunch of gold. And there's a captain here, I believe. Oh boy. Yep, that's the captain, all right. More ores. And I've just done some research into the black eye. It seems like this can be found in hidden treasures. So if I can find a hidden treasure map from a shipwreck, that would give us a chance of finding that eye, which would be great because we're not having any luck with Frostmaw or the witch eye. Now, I do have a feeling that Frostmaw could be in this biome. It, it's a pretty luscious snow biome with a lot of empty space. Oh, and I hear a dragon, but I don't see it. Oh, it's a, it's an ice dragon. Oh my god. Let's go, pal. Let's go. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I wonder if it can, like, freeze me to death or something. Oh boy. Okay. Spam shots. I wonder if uh, fire does extra damage to it or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it fell. This is good. This is very good. Oh, let's roll away. Oh, and that's a horde of rats. That's not good. No, 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 no. Maybe we should go in for a melee hit. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is working way better. Oh, I'm getting in there. Woo! I got it. Nice. This one turns into an ice dragon essence. We can make ice dragon armor with it. Taking damage on low health sometimes trigger freezing effect. Interesting. Now that was cool. If we can find frost maw, that would very much complete this little trip here. Oh, <gasps> frost maw. Oh yes. I knew I had a feeling. Yes. Oh my goodness. Where did he spawn? <laughs> finally, I've been searching for so long. And finally, oh, there it is. Frost Maw. Now, it would be wise to sleep off the night before approaching him, just because there are so many monsters spawning. Let's eat this up and head in. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, why are there mobs here? Hold on. Hold on. Get out of the... Oh, boy. Why am I frozen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, another mob just froze me. Oh, it's one of... Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Okay, we got to remove that thing. Hold on. That thing's gonna... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I messed up. 
Okay, wait, hold on. We gotta defeat this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm frozen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, golden apple. Okay, takeoff is very helpful. Oh, and I'm frozen in midair. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Get some good hits on him. Oh yeah. And can I shoot him? No. Oh wow. Wow. Ultimate ability? Ooh. What if I hunt him down while he's doing that? Oh no, he's dodging me. Uh oh, he looks like he's gonna try to hit me. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Woo! We got a rude awakening. Oh, and we got his eye. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, we got the cold eye. <laughs> that means we only need one more eye before we can finally approach the end. Now, I'd actually like to find an ocean at this point because that will lead us to finding a shipwreck and hopefully then that will lead us to getting the last eye. Let's store that away. And I got this ice crystal, which can freeze enemies, I believe. I'll keep it in hand for a bit. And maybe we can find use. Okay, here we go. We got some ocean. So finding a shipwreck seems to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh, look at this, a serpent statue. What is here? Oh, a bunch of serpents. What do you know? Uh, I feel bad just killing him, so I'll leave him alive. Is there anything at the top of this? Mm, does not seem like it. Okay. Ooh, look at this. You have a desert pyramid here. Huh. Well, hello there. What is going on? Oops, oops. I did not mean to fall down here. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> it's like a little pharaoh skeleton. Cobalt skull. Interesting. What's the loot here? Nothing incredible. Now, is there a floor going lower down is my question. Doesn't seem like... Oh, well, there's an emerald block there. Doesn't seem like there is much else here, though. Oh, and a little building. Two buildings here. Wow, it's nice to finally be in a desert biome. I've been looking for one for so long. I think this is a building for a recruit. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we have the recruit. Two cooked cod and three carrots. You know, these guys, they have the weirdest requests. Like, I'm not carrying around two cooked cod and three carrots all right but hey i appreciate appreciated them wanting to, to, to help out let's see what's in this structure over here let's see if there's anything on the very top of this tower no okay is there anything here what's going on whoa okay we're going into the underground here let's go down these stairs i adventured through this dungeon and it was pretty much all the same as the other ones we had explored in the past i was reunited with the imps which i did not miss at all uh, but they were a lot easier for me to defeat now than in the beginning and uh, I also got some good pieces of diamond gear here. I soon headed back up to the surface and continued with my quest of finding a sunken ship. Uh, we got an orc encampment in the sand here and it looks like we got- oh my goodness! I thought that there was a village here but it looks like it's some kind of a special temple. Also there's a quest over here. Here there is a house infested by those sick deluded hunters. Armorer's map. A map given by the armorer to retrieve his necklace. He wants a pendant. They usually hide valuables under tables. Okay, good to know. I want to see what's going on here. I thought that this was a temple, but it looks like it is just another village here in the desert. Very cool. And something over there, which we can check out. Huh. What is this? It doesn't seem like there's any direct entrance. I'm guessing this might be the closest thing to it. This looks like it's, uh, looks like it's trapped. They don't look like they're trapped. But let me check. Okay, I've blocked up all the lava. So, oh, that one just has blocks and that one just has gold. Oh, there's more chests above. Interesting. Strange little little temple here. Let's continue along. Ooh, and we got this uh, palace. Is this the one that we found earlier? It might have been. I'm definitely in more of a state to where I could actually adventure through here. I'm not sure as to how powerful these guys are. Oh, okay. They're fighting each other, which honestly, it's pretty convenient. What do we got in here? A little aquatic room? Oh boy, we got more of them ganging up on us. Let me try to freeze them. Oh boy. Okay, they're doing damage. They also like to hit each other, which is pretty funny. Oh no, okay, more spawn. Okay, you know what? There's no loot here. So let me just continue along. Uh, nothing in here, it seems. Oh, here's our first chest. Ooh, whoa, okay. Okay, 
a bunch of diamond gear. That's a pretty good sign, I'd say. Interesting little kind of library section here. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Chanting table, loot chest. Some okay loot. We got a fella here. Now let's hit him with the ice crystal. Boom, and then bam. Oh, there's chests on the inside of these. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get away. Get away. Okay, wow. I progressed through this upper layer of the Shiraz temple, which had a lot of spawners that I took out. The skeletons were fairly chunky, but given my netherite gear, I took them on quite well. There was even a skeleton riding a cow, which was quite the sight, but I was able to clear everything out. What's in this chest? Oh, ancient debris. Hold on. Now I wonder, wow, 16 diamonds from this one chest. I do wonder if we can somehow end up finding one of the eyes in here because that would be a phenomenal thing. A lot of blocks of ores here. That guy's waiting for me beyond the corner. Take you out, take you out. This guy's weird, look at this guy. Oh, he's poisoning me. But, all right, oh my goodness. Break that spawner. Yeah, this is bad. Maybe I can try to outrun all these guys. Oh, there's, okay, there's one chest up here. It's got to be a good sword. Uh, blocks of ore. Netherite scales. I mean, hey, that... To be fair, that's pretty good. And is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's more chests here that I missed. Got anything in this one? Oh, those are actually pretty decent enchantments. Wither waltz. I'll get that. Oh, we got an achievement. And look at that. My gear is minty fresh. I love mel mending. So let's run out from that area. Hello, what's going on here? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god! Holy moly! Holy moly, dude! Take that! Get away! Wait, I need to be in combat mode. Take that! Oh, I got it. What was that? Holy moly! That was like one of the dragons. That was quite interesting. Projectile protection. Oh, we got a netherite helmet here. Wow, a lot of netherite scrap too. That's great. Oh my goodness. Oh, another one of those dragon type things spawned. Alrighty, now it seems like we've looted everything around here. I believe, unless this has loot. No. So... Let us head on out. Hello, what is this? We got a nice little umbrella thing and a nice chest with cookies, huh? Well, thank you, G. And a water bottle, huh? I'll get hydrated. I appreciate whoever left this behind. Oh yeah, thank you. I'll leave that for the next person and I'll also have a cookie. Thank you very much. And I'll leave, uh, I'll leave the rest for the other people here. Also leave them a block of gold. There we go. Maybe one of these guys will take it. You guys, you guys want a cookie? It's right there. Oh, it looks like we got a shipwreck over here. This is the first one I've found since our search. I'm hoping we can find a treasure. Oh my goodness. Let's take this fella out. Draft a trident. Thank, thank you, man. I mean, I appreciate it. Are there any more chests here is the question. Yes, there is. Buried treasure map. Let's go. Okay. That is very good news. Northeast. Alrighty. We're almost there. Alrighty. And I think that's another shipwreck on the way. So maybe we can pick up another map. Okay. Looks like this one does not have a map. But that's okay. Let us continue. Should probably use my 3x2 pickaxe because that'll help out. I'm not sure if the chest is supposed... Oh, well, it's right there. Never mind. Boohoo Coconut. Well, we got a music disc, but uh, not the map it looks like. Heart of the Sea, though, so we'll take that. Okay, well, let's continue along. And here is another shipwreck. Let's check it out. Oh, hello. Sergeant the Soaked is here. Meet us. Say hello. Uh, nothing here. Whoa, what is that? It's like a tiger fish shark or something. I don't know what it's called. That looks cool though. And map. Ooh. Oh, and we're already here. This one's underwater. That shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Okay, let's find this chest. I'm not sure if it's, oh, there it is. Found it. And no eye, unfortunately. But I figure we can keep trying. And there's another shipwreck. Ooh, and this is one of the special ones. Oh, with a bunch of swordfish around, may I add. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Holy moly. It's an undead army. I've seen a lot of these spawn, but I've never had to fight one. Oh my goodness. They do a lot of damage. That's the first wave defeated, but there are more. Look at them approaching. Look at these guys. Yeah, we're going to take you all out, fellas. Gotcha. That is creepy. Look at this. Let's go. Who do you guys think you are? You think you're a Chad skeleton? No, you're not. Take these guys out. Ultimate ability. Woo. Got him. Oh, and that's it. We defeated it. After defeating the Ended Army, I continued with my travels and soon came across this. Whoa, look at this. We found a jungle village. That is my first time finding one of these. Very cool. Is this a village? Or is this something else? Looks a bit interesting. Huh. We got some witch supplies in here. I hear a witch. Is this a witch living place? Oh my god, it's a witch. Hi. Oh, what is this? Witch's robe. Witches no longer bother the player. 50% reduced magic damage taken. 25% increased magic damage dealt. Interesting. Eight armor. That's uh that's a pretty good piece of armor if I didn't already have an epic chest plate. That's a very unique item, it seems. Oh, crystal ball. Let's see if we can find the, the witch eye here. Got some plants. I hear more witches. Oh, I hear another witch. Hello, witch. Oh! <gasps> I gasped. I, I, that was a real gasp. I was really excited because it dropped a witch pupil. No way. Woo, I was not expecting this. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think that is it. That's the 12th eye that we needed and we're done. <laughs> yeah, finally we did it. Witch hut. And uh, let's head back to our castle. We need an eye of ender. There we go. Boom, witch eye. So with that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 witch eyes. And now we can start searching for the stronghold. I should make sure to take any extra eyes that I have because that's what I'm going to need to use to guide me. I'm pretty sure normal eyes of Ender do not work. Yeah, this eye does not want to be used. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's throw this and... Start following it. Oh, well, oh, it's going this way. My search carried on all the way into day 171 when something special happened. Yep, it is right down here. Woo! Okay, it's time to see what we got on our hands here. Okay, let's head down. Oh, and here we go. We have found the stronghold. After 170 days of working towards this, we found it. And not only that, but we're ready to activate it. Now we need to find the portal itself. Interesting. We got another portal here and some treasure. Ooh, okay. Looks like we found the main lobby. We got this little lounge area. That's very nice. Ah, here we go. I found it. I don't want to enter just yet, but I do want to activate the portal. So let us do that. <laughs> These took so long to get. Boom, boom, and boom. Woohoo! We have activated the end portal. That is insane. Well, on that note, we are ready to head into the end, but I'm going to definitely gear up before fighting the Ender Dragon. I think it's more powerful than the regular version, so we're going to need to be careful. And I wish I had a waystone on me, but it doesn't look like I do, which is uh, definitely not the best news, but it's okay. I think I can find one kind of close by, hopefully. And ooh, I got a silverfish spawning and trying to kill me. And what is this? Is this a village? <laughs> what is going on here? Now, the question is, is there a waystone here? Because that would be amazing. I'm not finding a waystone here, unfortunately. So we're going to have to find another village. And we got signs here, which could lead us to a village. So let us head over this way. Looks like it uh, might have led us to this pillager castle, which is not what we need at the moment. I'm in a warped mesa biome. That's pretty cool. Here's another village. Ooh, why do I... What was that? Oh, no. Hey, don't attack the baby. Back off. Back away from the baby. You okay, buddy? Are you all right? Yeah? Okay. There's no waystone, unfortunately. Oh, hello. 
Hello guys, other friendly little guys. Hi. Not bringing a waystone with me was quite a fatal mistake. I am not going to lie. Oh my god, this is not good. Not at all. Oh, finally. We got a waystone. There's no way this type of village doesn't have a waystone. Ah, waystone. Okay, that was too long. Too long. But let's grab this. And we're gonna have to now fly back. And I traveled about 5,000 blocks. Look at this plant. Look at this thing. Does, oh, yeah, it's harmful. Okay. Oh, I got the achievement. Jennifer dump me. Kill a Philiath. Oh. And the stronghold should be just about down this way. Here, if we dig straight down, we should land right into the portal. There we go. We can place our waystone right here and portal. And let's quickly head home to figure out our inventory and make some potions, hopefully. Boom. Speed charm strength charm fire resistance there we go we have all three charms which will definitely come in handy and with that i mean i'm pretty ready to go and fight the ender dragon and portal oh boy okay <laughs> let us do this okay let's build on over to the main island okay and so we begin there's there's so many of these thunder strikes going on holy moly being able to fly is definitely helpful Take these out. Now we need to break into these ones. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Here we go, that's that one blown up. There are a lot of these thunder lightning things going on. Oh my god! Holy moly! There we go, that's another one. There's one more crystal here, it looks like. Oh my goodness, this is just difficult because of the lag, okay. Why is this ender dragon on the ground? Holy moly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, this is some ender dragon. I guess I have to fight this thing in melee range. Wow. Oh boy. It knocked me towards the wall. Oh no. Okay, that's a totem of undying gone. Put one back on. Okay. There we go, it's in the air. I can shoot at it for a bit. There we go. Ender Dragon. Okay, it's back on the ground. With strength two, I should be able to do a lot more damage. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. We are doing a lot of damage in melee range. Holy moly. I might take it out right now. It's health is, oh, there we go. Woo. That was a very strange Ender Dragon fight, to say the least, but we got it. I, wow, I just got 225 levels. That is so many levels. Holy moly. That's insane. Oh, I got a heart container. We got an Ender Dragon treasure bag. We can open that up. We got an End Crystal, Dragon's Breath. And let me see if I can explore the end a bit. Okay, let's head into the end gate here. There we go. Whoa, okay. This end is already looking cool. Okay, so good news, I removed the lightning and my game feels literally 10 times better. Bad news, I have no gear anymore. It, I, I, unfortunately, there was no way to remove the lightning without having the armor removed as well. Uh, so yeah, that means we lost our epic gear, which I'm honestly uh, quite, uh, quite sad with, but at the same time, I'm happy that I'm not lagging like crazy. Uh, now we need to get home ASAP. And I believe we have some decent gear as well, which will help us along the way. I want to come back right after we get some gear at our base so that we can explore the end because I believe the end has even better gear than the nether. Okay, yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> my spawn point is, uh, is 15,000 blocks away from home, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. There we go, a village. Let us head home. I've put on the best gear I've got, and I think the best strategy is to head into the end and try to get some better pieces of diamond gear that I can then transform into netherite because the end, I believe, has very, very good gear compared to the overworld. Let us head back to our end portal and look at these trees. <laughs> these look crazy. What is this called? Enna gel. Look at that. We're bouncing. Ooh, we got a waystone. Hey there, that's really nice. 
that makes it a lot easier to travel in the end because as soon as we need to we can head back home oh and here we go we got an end city seems like we also have something over there now i have not fought any shulkers i do not know how powerful these fellas are so let's uh let's be careful here it seems they're not doing anything too crazy but let us make our way up oh boy mimic cubes oh yeah look at that it's holding a totem of undying okay wait hold on can i take these fellas out oh no i can't wow these guys are crazy i'm gonna try to avoid them if i can because i am not in a state where i can take them on very manageably let's see if there's anything at the top doesn't seem like there's anything in that one let's check this one out nothing on the top of this tower either Ooh, there is a chest oh boy these shulkers are blinding me okay oh callie the old and you're gone Let's see what's in the chest. Ooh, netherite armor. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a legendary item. Look at that. This tool breaks in a five by three area. Mending efficiency four. Item ignores 45% of durability damage. Holy moly. That's an insane shovel. And this chest plate's really good too. Definitely better than mine. Wow. Now let's head to the ship. I'm still in awe from that shovel that we found. This thing looks insane. Okay, there's mimic cubes here. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can make them fall off the edge though. Perfect. What do we got here? Oh, we got an elytra. Oh, look at that. Whoa, you can make some interesting butterfly elytra. Oh, you can make different uh, types of elytras. That's really cool. And then let's see what we got in these chests. Ooh, look at that. Epic helmet. Insane. Epic chest plate. <laughs> Insane. Look at that. Mending protection three, unbreaking three. That is very good. We can combine that with this netherite chest plate even. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Epic netherite leggings. Look at this. It has two sockets on it. Wow. Within this small period of time, I have significantly geared up. But now that we've looted this end city, there's also this huge structure here that I'd like to explore. Oh, I think a blackstone golem might be here. Find the ruined sedatal. Interesting. Got some basic loot here. I hear a lot of sounds. Endermaptera? Ah, that's creepy. That's creepy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ew. 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 Okay, these things are creepy, man. Why? Why? Oh. Here we got an ender golem. I can't shoot at it. Oh boy, I blocked its uh, special ability. Hold on, hold on. Let me put my strength on, fire resistance, speed, and let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh I blocked its attack. Block. Oh, got it. Wow, that was quick. What did I get? Void core. Interesting. Look at that. Protection 4 helmet, which is going to come in handy, actually. There's a lever here. It's another lair. Oh, there's another golem. Take this fellow out. And take you out. Oh, look at that. Netherite sword, two gem sockets, a bunch of extra damage. That's a very good sword, which I would really like to use. Oh, man, here's... Oh, my God. Fisk of sand. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, I'm good. Wow. Wow. That is insane. Ooh, look at this. Legendary leggings. It reduces a bunch of types of damage. 6.2 armor toughness. I don't think these are the best legendary leggings you could get, but they're uh they're pretty good. They are better than my netherite gear in terms of its armor or toughness. What do we have here? Oh boy, that's a boss. Let's quickly head home. Okay, what I can do is try to enchant some of this epic and legendary gear that we got and sharpness three that's really good and through that we might have a better chance of fighting these more difficult bosses i go to the smithing table we should be able to put both of these on here boom and now this sword should be doing a lot of extra damage actually i definitely like to re-enchant this helmet let me quickly take that off mana regen three not bad we can also combine that with our protection four helmet Bam. For our chest plate, this epic one is better than the netherite one. And what we can do is actually upgrade this diamond chest plate like so. 
That is very powerful. And we need to get more netherite so that we can upgrade our other pieces of gear. Thankfully, I have a lot of scales. There we go, three netherite ingots. We can upgrade our legendary leggings, boom, and our epic helmet. We can also enchant our leggings. Protection three, some extra enchantments, which is nice, since that'll make us pretty powerful. Cover me in debris, that is right. I definitely feel a lot safer fighting bosses now. We can add speed onto the chest plate and overheal onto the helmet. Boom. I definitely feel ready to take on a boss right now. All right, let's activate our charms. Eat a golden apple. And uh, let's head down to fight this. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. The Ender Guardian is pulling me in. Let's test the sword. Oh, yeah. Look at the sword go. That's insane. And we can block with it still, which I really like. Boom. Blocked. Block. Woo! Dropped his down a layer. This is insane. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I am insanely powerful now. That's crazy. That's it. We defeated him. Berserking Gauntlet of Guard of the Titan. You can pull in entities. Look at how many perks it has. It gives you armor too, which is insane. That is very interesting. Let me mine my way out of here. There we go, we are out. I also kind of want to test out this gauntlet. Pull everything into us. Look at how it attacks. Look, I'm pulling everything in. It is very hard to hit things with this. Oh my goodness. I started the I started a fight with the wrong Enderman, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I thought we were overpowered. We are not overpowered, apparently. That Enderman does an insane amount of damage. Oh no, I just activated another Enderman. No. Let us find some other place in the end because this is way too dangerous. Looks like we have another end city here. Hold on. Let me try to fight these Mimic Cubes. I'm blinded. I have no idea what's happening. This thing does not die. Look at this. I don't think you can kill those Mimic Cubes. They, they literally seem to be invincible. Let me just go to the ship. How about that? And here we have this wandering trader fellow. Who's very, very strange. Oh, he's floating. The Archmage? Whoa, look at this stuff. He has a bunch of special items. Oh, and I'm getting attacked. Is he attacking me? Is this guy attacking me? His trades aren't even that good. This guy's attacking me. Look at this guy. Hey, what, what's going on? Up some music discs and some pretty good boots as well with Feather Falling 5. And look at that. I got, I got a legendary helmet from uh, one of the Shulkers. Oh, and he dropped a mending book. That's good too. Let's take you out. Oh no, not the Mimic Cube. Not the Mimic Cube. These things are literally invincible. Okay, let's get you to fall down here. Okay, we got a chest here. Nothing special, it looks like. Here's a dragon head. I should probably pick this one up. Whoa, hold on. The True Ends Portal. A map leading you to the most powerful being within this realm? Um, what? <laughs> did, did the Wandering Trader drop that? I think it's a bug that it dropped too. I think there's only supposed to be one, so I'll throw one out. This is worrying me a bit. We're gonna follow this map. Oh, and we are moving on the map. Let us see what awaits us. Look at that. The fact that this is being called the most powerful being is a bit, uh scary i would say to the point where i don't think i'm ready to fight this off i think we should return to this later once we're more prepared anyways here's another one of these golem buildings a uh, diamond chest plate which is actually better than my current netherite chest plate i think we should combine the two together what is that look at this thing hi there oh here's another one of these and that is a legendary chest plate oh my goodness these things are nasty Oh, it just dropped epic boots, like, just like that. And you know what? Those boots are better than mine, actually. Oh, and a legendary netherite axe. Let's see what we can do with this epic level shulker. Where did it go? Mythic level mobs have the craziest amount of health. Is this it? 
Dropped leggings, it could be it. Oh, it was it. The enchantments are insane on that. Look at that. Wow, I can definitely make use of that. Projectile protection six, mana regen five, unbreaking four. The armor itself isn't amazing. Got an end ship over this way. And what do we got inside? And a legendary trident. Oh my goodness, look at this. Three empty sockets. Ooh, legendary boots. There we go. Yes, these are amazing. Enchant our new boots. Not bad. We need to upgrade our armor to netherite. So I'm gonna quickly go mining and we can use our five by five pickaxe. Combine this pickaxe with that one, boom. And now let's see what we can do and let us mine down. <laughs> We're just deleting the world at this point. Just delete, delete. This is insane. Like it's just deleting the world in front of my very eyes. <laughs> Look at this, this is crazy. Oh, there we go. Bunch of ancient debris. It also teleports items to you, which is even crazier. There we go, more ancient debris. Thank you. And more. And I'm gonna have to stop there before it breaks. 17 ancient debris before it almost broke. Wow. Upgrade the helmets and upgrade the chest plate, the leggings as well. And now I can combine a lot of things. So these boots with those, boom. This helmet with that helmet, there we go. And these leggings with those, boom. That chest plate with that chest plate, bam. Okay, so on this chest plate, we can add a bunch of gems, boom. We also have a slot on our boots. Plus two step height on those. And on this, we can add 20% total speed. We are doing very, very well. I'll also add mending to all my gear. Mending, mending. There we go, mending on all of my armor. Teleport to our end portal. Look at this, we got a little spirit orb placed down here. Oh, and I actually have enough emeralds and essences to get another heart. Thank you very much. And we think there's an entrance right here, actually. Oh my God, wait, this is a skull. I did not see this before, wait. It's a skull, oh my God. Okay, this is no joke. Okay, what is inside here? Um, candles, distant altar. I'm guessing I have to click this. Do I walk? No, I have to, oh boy, oh boy. Where is it teleporting me? Oh boy. The true ending. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Look. It's Notch. Oh boy. There's nothing else around me. Are you ready? Am I ready? No, actually. Hold on. Oh boy. I'm... <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. Good. Prepare yourself, okay? Oh boy. What is he doing? He's got a big boulder thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! He's swinging me around. Oh, can I block that? Oh, I blocked it. What does he do? Okay. 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. He grabbed me. What is that effect? He grabbed me! Stop. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Golden apple! Oh my! Okay. I think I got him. Oh my god, of course he has a phase two. Elemental deity? Look at this thing! Oh! Oh! What? It's summoning a black hole! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. What is it doing? Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Dodge. Whatever it's shooting at me, dodge it. I'm getting out of that. Oh no, oh no, ow. Okay, we got- ow! Oh boy. Okay, totems of undying. I think I need to get in melee range because this guy does a bunch of damage when I'm trying to shoot at him. Ow. Holy smokes. Ow. Come on. Attack, attack, attack. Oh. We got him. Is he going to blow up or something? Woo. 
You have defeated the corrupted deity. Congratulations, you have defeated the elemental deity. The world bounces once again restored. You can right click one of the dancing Koroks to go back. Oh, hey guys. Did I get anything for that? I don't know if I did. We'll click this guy. Hey. Oh. Teleported us back. I mean, I I think we we actually beat the last boss in the pack. Well, with that, I'm quite confident. I would like to fight the other bosses that we couldn't defeat before and go down to that abyssal trench that we saw earlier. We have had a bunch of progress. It's insane that we have come this far. Okay, first I wanna fight Captain Cornelia because before we were getting demolished by it. Let us teleport to Captain Cornelia. Ah, there it is, okay. And let's try to fight this thing. Oh boy. Oh, that was not a good start. Woo! Woo! It does no damage to me anymore. Oh boy. Okay, maybe I spoke a bit too soon. Hold on. Hold on, I can't swing at it. Hold on. Wow, it's healing. Uh, I Maybe I should have brought Ender Pearls. Okay, this way. Get hits on it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I shoot at it? I can't do anything. It's healing. Maybe I need to exit combat mode. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you like that, Captain Cornelia? Got it. Nice. Oh, my God. What is this? Oxygen tanks? I feel like we got times eight the loot we're supposed to get. So I'm going to drop a lot of this stuff. And look at that coral lance. It's red. It does 14 attack damage on its own. 30% base accuracy, 25% attack range. Echo of the ship graveyard. Whisper of the abyss. Whoa. Now with Captain Cornelia defeated, I feel confident in going to that abyssal trench. Now the only issue that I might have is the drowning underwater part. So if I could try to get respiration and aqua affinity, that would be very, very good. I could also just make water breathing potions actually, now that I think about it. I can go underwater and try to find some puffer fish. That's a pretty good idea, I think. Boom, depth strider three. Let me try to find some puffer fish. Whoa, I'm really fast. Hey, puffer fish. Where are you? Ooh, warm ocean, warm ocean, warm ocean. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, we found one. Okay. I was honestly giving up hope. Oh, I think that's a puffer fish. Oh, yes, it is. Ooh. And let's see if uh, looting works on this fella. Oh, two puffer fish. Okay, that's already very good, but I would like to find some more. I need my water breathing real bad. There we go. Eight puffer fish. And with that, we can return. Brew these up. There we go. And I got the potions we need. With that, I am ready to take on the Abyssal Trench. I have it marked down on my Atlas, Abyssal Trench. Let's do it. I finally have come back. And I'm not sure if speed will help us down here, but I will activate it anyways. Oh no. Okay, I feared this might happen. The random effect of water breathing that you get here resets my water breathing potions. To fix that, I can make a charm, but I guess let's see if I even need to make a charm okay let's start breaking these spawners it is very difficult to deal with this this is uh quite crazy i don't know what's going on here to be honest i'm drowning see that's the thing about the water breathing is it activates sometimes and sometimes it doesn't and then i get weakness oh my god i fell down a hole now okay hold on we're leaving I feel the vibrations under the ice oh boy there we go water breathing charm and let's head back look at this how do i deal with this taking on the abyssal trench was honestly an absolute mess there were so many things working against me including lag it being dark and me getting pulled down every few seconds i spent a lot of time here breaking the spawners looting the chests uh, trying to get enough keys to summon the boss and defeat the trench i made it all the way up to the top and it turned out that the top of the building is where you're supposed to start which uh, I really wish I knew in the beginning. Anyways, I was heading back down when this happened. Oh, what is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Golden apples. What is that? Mother of the maze? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not a good situation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm swinging at it from afar. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a terrible place to fight these things. Oh no. Oh, they're cornering me. It's poisoning me. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. Okay, I want to try to loot that, but I can't when I'm being dragged to the bottom of the ocean every five seconds. 
Where, where? Oh, there's the items. Oh man, I almost got him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. There we go. What did I get here? Ooh, Abyssal Amethyst. Echo of the Ship Graveyard. I can use this for a lot of things. Ooh, you can even make a full set of armor with this. That's really cool. Let's go see if two keys is enough, which I'm guessing it's not, but two. I think I might need one more key after all. Let's go find another Abyssal Trench. Here we go. Here's another trench. This time I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. And now that I know kind of how this works, there we go and no key let's go down i do not like guardians you know i actually quite strongly hate guardians i could say and i'm gonna get you too yeah that's right there's the sneaky spawner oh yeah but there's nothing in there unfortunately yes there we go we got the key and we're gonna have to head back to the other trench okay oh my goodness oh my god look at this thing oh my god oh my god this thing is creepy. Die. 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 It's, it's pushing me away or something. Take it out. Come on. Oh my god. That was a nasty creature. Okay. I have the final key and put it in. Oop. There's a chest there. Oh my goodness. What is going on? The, the key is not going in. I'm so confused. It just uh, didn't work. I failed, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what ended up happening. I decided I would head to another Abyssal Trench to see if I could activate the Battle Tower there, but even after getting three keys again, the boss did not get summoned. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or it was glitched, but unfortunately I had no way to summon the boss, so at least for now we'll just say that I beat the Battle Tower. Anyways, with that done, I decided I would move on, and my next mission was to summon and defeat the Hovering Inferno, whose altar we had found in the first 100 days. Here we are. This is where the Blaze Guardian boss resides. Now we have this little guy here as well, which we should definitely take out. And we can head in here. Let's uh, activate our fire resistance and let's throw in our... Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> the nether star worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. A little guy spawned one of these guys here. Hold on. This is bad. This is very bad. Where's this little guy? Okay, I, I don't know. I'm going to just try to take on the hovering inferno. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, wait, that, that's not good. Wait, we're doing a lot of damage to it. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I can't even kill this thing because I don't know where the little guy is. I can take out the hovering inferno though. Oh, there, there he is. There's the little guy. Come here, little guy. Got him. Now we take out the rest of this inferno. Wow, I'm, I'm insanely powerful. Holy moly. We have, we have had a huge increase in our power. Run? You can't kill the Inferno just about... Oh my god, it respawned. Oh boy, come here, Hovering Inferno. Oh, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. What's going on? Oh, I think I... Oh, I have to jump over that. It has a bunch of... Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I have to d dodge all of these. Oh my god. Okay, up we go. Place a block here. Can it hit me? It can't. Oh, come on. Woo! fall into ashes survive the inferno's last spell and claim your reward what is my reward i hope my reward whatever it is doesn't drop into the lava please oh i think i saved it oh oh what is that windswept firestorm of the first archer turns spectral arrows into a powerful lightning attack oh look at this windswept trailblazer of the first archer oh my god how long can i charge this for oh look at this whoa that's cool boom oh my god that's sick Oh, wow. I got 84 levels from that. That's that's insane. Now, let's search for some more bosses. Okay. Now, I feel bad, but there's a pile of sheep here, and I want to test this crossbow on them, okay? Okay. Yeah, that just one-shot all, all three sheep that were here. That is pretty powerful. The Redhorn Guild. A refuge and training grounds. How do I get into this place? Right here, it looks like. Hello, folks. Redhorn Guild. Journal. Day 14. Last week I arrived at the Wanderous Redhorn Guild. I was running from a pillager patrol and the adventurers here took me in as one of their own. They may be hard on me and each other, but now they're family. Um, oh, hello. Hey there. Hey guys, Redhorn Guild. Very cool. I'm a big fan. Look at their logo. That's nice. Let's see what's at the top here. Very interesting. I don't want to disturb them by looting their chests, so 
I'll leave you guys alone, okay? It doesn't look like they have any quests for me or anything. So I'll just head on out. I want to find this ocean monument. And I can actually just turn on my charm of water breathing, which will make finding a uh, temple a lot easier. Hello, Sentinel Knight. Would you like to fight? Oh, poor guy. I'm so overpowered. This is insane. Look at this. Wow, she got destroyed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is there anything in here? Because this is just like an inconspicuous, perfect box in the middle of the ocean. Oh, what's going on here? Look at this. We got copper golems. Oh, I just got a copper golem. Head back out. Oh my god, we found one. We found an ocean monument. Holy moly, it took so long. Nice, nice, nice. Now these fellas are very powerful especially the fact that we have epic fight mod it makes it very difficult to fight these guys what is over here oh hello uh oh uh oh that's the boss oh look at this thing this thing looks freaky oh my goodness i got it this place is not not looking like it's friendly at all i'll tell you that much wow this is very different from the typical ocean monument look at this place no i don't like you fellas doesn't seem to be a lot here oh and there's another elder let's take it out this scary thing we got it oh i got oh my god oh my god how am i not dead wow holy moly they got me to one heart whoa wow okay <laughs> Good thing I'm okay. Elder Guardian bag. Let's open this up. I'm um, not seeing anything too special. Oh, and here we got another one. And gotcha. Wow, there are a lot of these guys. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. Got a chest here. A bunch of prismarine shells, crystals, nautilus shells. I'll get them. Okay, I feel like that is it for this place. So we should head out. And oh, I can actually break out. There we go. And we're out of there. So we've defeated this sea monument. And well, well, we got a wandering trader here. Hello. Nothing good. Now, there are a few more bosses that I can defeat. One of them is Father Gasco Gascoin. I don't know how to say that, but I want to find him. And I know for a fact that he spawns randomly in the overworld. Me finding him is basically entirely up to luck, but I'd still like to try to do it. Just hold on. I'm just admiring my gear for a second. Just look at how overpowered that looks. Isn't that a beautiful color? Wow. Let me talk to the guild master here and let's see if he has any new quests because I defeated the ender dragon. Hello? I think there's no need to look for the eyes anymore. Correct. So you have defeated the dragon. I suppose that would make you the new ruler of the realm. Congratulations, brave conqueror. You have done everything you could. Now, if you would excuse me, dot, dot, dot. I, I'm sorry, I doubted you. You are truly one of a kind. End of dialogue. Okay, that's it. We officially have gotten the seal of approval. Hey, pal. Hey. He's swimming with me. Look at this. Hello, Orca. Look at it. It's swimming with me. I made a new friend. I unfortunately did not have luck with finding this rare boss named Father Gascoin, but uh, that's okay because we beat the mod pack, everybody. I mean, we did it. We defeated the final boss. We got insane gear, and we have our nice little castle that we live in. It's only right to end this off by heading back to our castle and saying hello to Noopy. Hello, Noopy. <laughs> and, uh... You know, sleeping. A nice deep rest.